This video is sponsored by G Portal. I host my servers with them and you can too. Save 5% with the link in the description. Subscribe for more Valheim. I think, don't tell anyone, I think I've got my computer on over at, uh, wait, is this it? This is, this oh, is it, is I here. see you. All right. Hello. Hello. Do you have, uh, do you need any food uh, to keep your stamina up during this trip? I think I might, because I've only got uh, uh, two raspberries. Okay, let me give you some. Generously donated by the Baltic Sea Company. Let's see here. We've got some floating. Oh, there we go. Some uh, ice cream. Oh, and there's Something, some, oh, some, did, some bread did, back here. Right, yeah, it went way back here for some reason. Uh, I'm going to have to loiter and throw out some stones and wood. What do we, what's the procedure here on your server, good sir? Oh, you can just throw it down. There we go. Yeah. I think I have and my pickup turned there. off. And do you happen to have a wolf cape or other means to protect you from yes, the cold? Yes, absolutely. Oh. I have this, uh, the, the lovely lox cape. Oh, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, we will have a couple of uh, things in in um, in the colder areas to show you. So yeah, when uh, people spawn on our server, they start right here and they see this little wall to introduce them to the world. Oh, nice! And uh, <laughs> uh oh, we got a, we got a raid going on. Watch out! <laughs> All this power is made possible by my Zydax Gaming PC. Get a great deal on your next gaming PC with my link in the description. Oh, Minion Hot's here. <laughs> You're going to get Hello. greeted by everybody here. Uh, we've got lots of people here. Yeah. Wait, we, how many are you? <laughs> um, so we have about 60 players uh, who play regularly on the server, but we're capped at 20 right now for server capacity. So we have just a few mods to allow that, but... For the most part, I have everything set to enjoy vanilla play style on the server because I really enjoy the vanilla stuff. But yeah, we, we increased the server capacity a little bit. Nice. Yeah. So we've got we've got Malfunction. We've got Atlas. I'm trying to get all these names correctly. Patra, Pat Patras? Patras? Uh, Patras? Pat that's how I say it. Patras. Patras. We've got Freya, Yard, Yard, Yard Rock, Yard Rock, Ray, Rudy, Stick, Rude Stick. It's moving about too much. Rudy Stick the second. Gustav <laughs> Valentin. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna no, put, it's turn it's my sound Wait, sound there. effects down because it's very loud. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so everybody wanted to come out to greet you as you showed up because they are so excited about the game and, and having you stop by. Ah, it's, no worries. It's always fun to come visit and pick out your cool stuff. Yeah, and if anybody who can hear me um, could... Uh, oh wait, let's see. Uh, we'll need Kordama here soon. But we have... Let's see, Thorin is going to be our first tour guide. Let me, Thorin. Uh, yeah, Thorin, if you can join the, uh, the the voice channel that we're in, video recording. This uh, is the first time I see this, so many Vikings in the same location at the same time. Oh, you haven't uh, been on a server with a large capacity? No. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. <laughs> so when you guys play together, you, you have, what, maybe just two or three people on at the same time? At most, when we were place testing uh, Hearth and Home, we ha we were like maybe seven people online <laughs> playing together, seven developers running around doing stuff. Ah, uh, okay. Um, how was performance with that with those seven? Uh, well, as we were sitting, most of everyone at the office uh, and and in Sweden, it was okay. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. However, I see people. Oh, this—they're brawling here. <laughs> yeah, 
Um, and Thorne, you can hear me, correct? Can you uh, just let, indicate if you can hear us or not in here? He's punching. I can hear you. Yep. Okay. Great. Then um, we can talk and walk. Um, so uh, this is just a little starter area. I didn't want a, a whole lot uh, to build up for the players. I wanted them to be able to do their own thing. We got a little recruitment signed here that one of the the guilds have posted. Um, I'm sure other guilds will start doing it too to greet new players as they come. But yeah, okay. I just had this little uh, little path uh, that takes us um, basically towards the water because every Viking needs a path to the water. Um, mm. And uh, up ahead here is uh, an original oak tree. Was not planted, of course. So we had to oh. protect it and save it. There used to be flowers in there, but I think all the gray... Uh, Graylings destroyed them over time. <laughs> and then... Uh, uh, those graylings. Yeah. And then we have this little uh, bathhouse right up here um, for, the play for new players to get a rested buff and, and start their, their journey. And then after that, pretty much um, the players have built everything on the server, all the stuff you're about to see today. Nice. Yeah. So you, you you like it when new players come in, they're clean at least. Yeah, we got we have to wash them first. <laughs> yeah. That's understandable. Um Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah, so, so we're gonna go through uh this portal here. And you're gonna see a location that you might be familiar with as we come out. See if you recognize it. See, everything is building. Oh, that's a lot of portals. And we're at the uh, Elder location. Yeah, so we've got do not summon signs here on the cauldron. But uh, yeah, they, they, the players decided to build a giant portal hub. It's got three levels um, around the uh, Elder hub. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And it's kind of interesting. So the lower level here leads to each of the different communities. And you can see each of the different communities and guilds on the server. They sort of decorated their portal different ways. Um, mm. Some of them more elaborate than others. Um, the mountain wolves got the wolves and the, uh, the black banners. Um, Eastern Edge has a bunch of trophies and mob. Animal and mob trophies. Well, how okay. how lucky are you guys? My, uh, Zemko in my chat was saying that you got like trader just like a stone throw away from here. Oh yeah, right outside that door. Actually, that's one of the reasons why this location was picked. Because that's uh, insane. Yeah, the elder the elder thing uh, summoning spot was there, and a trader right there, and that little house next to it was the original house that people use to get to the trader. And then of course they built the uh, portal hub and that, that became now the way that everybody That's goes to get here. Oh, Haldor still floating in the air. I see. Uh, <laughs> always. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Ugh. So I hear Haldor might have uh, some friends at some point in the uh, development around the world oh <laughs> where did you where did you hear this i don't know on one of the streams <laughs> did, did um, i say something um we, well, we have been talking about the uh, dvergir like okay so many times uh i want to have more traders in uh, in the world uh more more outdoor guys i want i want his brothers and sisters to join the game as npcs or or traders in some way that would be cool Oh yeah, that would be great. And how uh, many however, siblings? Uh oh, yeah. <laughs> he does need a lot of uh, more stuff to sell, or or the other guys uh, needs more stuff to sell as well. I know a lot of people were asking too. There's so many great decorative items in his bait and his little camp here. Is that 
is decorative items like this uh, something that we might have access to in the future? Or do they all have to serve a, uh, like a purpose before we would get them as a decorative item? That's a very good question. I don't really know because, uh, I mean, one thing that I think is a little bit sad is that we can't really build the uh, the barrels and stuff. Um, that's something I see I would like to update a little bit. Uh, the, these barrels, we could make them better. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, but no, but I mean, uh, more decorative stuff would be nice. Um, what do you have in mind? Well, well, just this stuff directly right here. Like it's, it could be spawned in in admin mode. I know, I noticed. Mm. Um, but yeah, just giving the player the ability to craft all these little individual things would. I mean, we have so many builders on our server. They love to build and. And especially we ha we have actually we have some who focus on building and we have some who focus on decorating, and mm. uh, I know that they would just love to have access to to make some of these things if if that was ever something that would be under consideration. I mean, because they're assets that already exist, right? You, you just have yeah. to do, do the mechanics to build them. Exactly. I think some of them might need a, a, a treatment first, though. Uh, but definitely, I mean. Uh, but it looks to me like most of these things here are just basically containers. Oh yeah, if they had that practical purpose, that'd be great too. But like the um, the treasure chest, right? Like that's not actually something you can store anything in, but it's just a decorative item. And I guess all these could just be decorative items, like the treasure chest. Mm, that's true. Yeah. What? How does it look like? Where's my hammer? Let's see. Uh, so would go under furniture, I guess. Yes, we we have we have a lot of room. <laughs> oh yeah, there's lots of room for furniture. Uh, but, uh, no, I guess that that's not that's basically not impossible. I'd say, uh, yeah, definitely that's uh, not impossible that that happens. But I think I think like maybe if we do another Hearth and Home kind of edition content patch again later down the line, we would put more of that kind of thing into it. But um, uh, right now, I'm I'm super focused on getting more exploration and uh, dangerous stuff going on. Oh yeah, I think everybody was happy to get the uh, build stuff, but now they're looking for more. Yeah, con more like the interactive content. I'd like to give a huge shout out to my supporters. Some of them on Patreon, the YouTube membership, and the ones who help boost our Discord server. Your support means the world to me and inspires me to make more videos, as well as run a community Discord and multiple Valheim gaming servers. If you enjoy my videos and would like to support my work, join our friendly Discord community and Valheim servers, links can be found in the description below. Skull!